Hi, it's Erica. Welcome to my channel. In today's video, it's actually a little, well, I say it's a little video hop. My video alone is not a video, but there is a video hop going on today to celebrate the newest release from Crafty Meraki, and it's called Meraki Chia. So it's, um, there's a lot of goodies in it, and the, the next person in the hop list will be right at the top of the description box. And, um, uh, yeah, you're not going to want to miss it. Hop along, comment on all the posts and all, all the videos, whatever, uh, because there is a prize package worth a hundred dollars up for grabs. So all you need to do is comment and then the winner will be announced actually over on the Crafty Meraki Instagram page, but I will probably do a video as well and, um, announce the winner. Because uh, you never know, we might be you on this very channel. Yes. So I uh, I have a little card today to share, and it's super simple. Uh, I'm getting better with the white space. I know. Um, but it helps also that it's like a big, lovely floral stamp. I do love me some stamps. Yes. And uh, also the gold splatters. It helps a lot for me anyway with the keeping the white space. So... Yes, but um, I will show you how I made this and uh, it is uh, quite sped up and stuff, but I um, uh, I will talk you through it and then we will, we, I say we, we will make, get making a card. So if you want to try making the exact same one, I have uh, listed all of the Copics as well. Like in the video, you, you can see I make like a little swatch chart um, almost every time before I color, just to double check that the colors that I want to use are in front of me or ready to go and sometimes you know juicy enough to actually use because quite a few of mine are a little bit dry but anyway I have blabbed on for a long enough so uh we're gonna get card making and then uh, hop along for the next person in the stop okay let's get down so first off, obviously, we are going to stamp up our Spring Blooms stamp. And I will be using a Misty because I am incapable of stamping anything without a Misty now. So uh, we are going to be using the Blackout Detail Ink from Incon 3 because this is a Copic friendly. And I will be stamping it twice to make sure that my image is really nice and solid. And... Uh, so here we have our finished image, but we're going to put that aside just for a tiny um, moment because we are going to look at something which is a rather magical product from also Incon 3. So this is called Ink Off and it's a stamp cleaner and it's, it's magic. You just rub it and dab it on your ink to stamp like that. that. That's all it takes. Then you take a towel or a micro towel, something like that and rub it off and it's all clean. I mean, I, I'm gonna put this on top of the lid of the Misty so you can see. That looks like it's just not been used. And here's a little top tip that I do to uh, line up my stamps uh, on the acetate sheet because I'm one of those weirdos that just, I like it to be super lined up so it looks really like, almost like it's been not used. So you place it with the sticky sides up and then you line up the stamp with the um, with the help of the acetate sheet. So it's super simple and it works every time. So yeah, all good. And here is the swatch chart that I um, I was talking about. So this is just like scribbles. It's literally scribbles on a spare piece of paper. And I um, I used the chisel nib for the actual like little color bit, and then I used the pointy bit to just write down the the marker number. It's not the name, is it? It's the marker number. And the reason I do this is, as I mentioned, not just to kind of see exactly what colors uh, I have, because sometimes I grab markers and then once I put them to paper, I realize that actually it's not kind of, it's not exactly the shade I want. Uh, and you can see like on the G07 that it is a little bit dry. I am in need of a re inker for that one. So that's going to go on my list. So this is just like a, another kind of great way of making sure that you're keeping on top of your supplies and anything that needs a little bit of maintenance or a new nib, because unfortunately I have a couple of uh, markers that are completely dried out to the point where I might even need to replace the nib. So that's something on the to-do list, but uh, we're getting to the end here. So I've gone for uh, uh, sort of very springy greens and yellows because it's 
Yellow tulips is just, you know, it's like the epitome of spring, isn't it? It's the spring color, it's the spring flower, and it just, I love tulips. Tulips are one of my favorite flowers. So I've gone from really light yellows all the way down to almost like a apricoty color for shades and uh, contrast. Right, so with my chart ready, it is time to color. Now, uh, I have started here by adding the lightest of my yellows to the top of the flower. And then I am starting from the other end, basically, with a dark color at the bottom. And then we're going to work our way up towards that light and blend them out. So we're going to go for a really blended look for this one. Sometimes I like to do the flicking technique, which leaves more of, um, it leaves more color and detail and depth. But for this one, we're going to go smooth and blended. So we're just gonna be working with the colors back and forth and add in a little bit more light and a little bit more dark here and there to really bring those flowers to life. And uh, you can see here, I'm going in with a colorless blender right at the top to kind of just even make it a little bit paler. And now we're going in with a bit more dark to add those depths and they, you know, they basically bring the flowers to life. So with the leaves, if we're doing exactly the same thing. Now I did add in another green, so I did add in G19, which wasn't on my swatch. And this is to make up for that dry G07. But with that, the coloring is done. And then I did add that, that gold splatter, which I am completely addicted to. I, I love the look of that. It's just, yeah, gold is gold, this life. And uh, then we have finished this off with a super simple sentiment from the stamp set. And that's my card done. And now it's time to hop along to the next person in the list and hopefully I'll see you soon again.